Okay, let's head straight into this one. Example two, determine all solutions of five cos theta minus one equals minus four in that given interval. So I've drawn the graph for you of five cos theta minus one. So there's this graph drawn, and we're trying to see when does it equal negative four. So when is that output? And we can see from the graph that there are four solutions we're expecting to get. There they are, looks like they're kind of just after 120, 240, somewhere. You know, we've got a sense of where they are. We could even think what quadrants they're in because there's quadrant one up to 180. So this is quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. So we're making those links as well. Okay, but let's see how we get there. So five cos theta, hmm. To start with this one, let's work on our equation so that we make it look a little bit more like cos theta equals something. Then we can do that whole shift cos thing. So five cos theta, let's add one to both sides and we get negative three, divide both sides by five and we have cos theta equals negative three over five. So now this is the equation that we're trying to solve. Now it's still gonna give the same four solutions but visually, that idea, cos theta equals minus 3 over 5, well, that's actually this picture. Now, if you look carefully, you'll see that our solutions are exactly in the same places, the same x values, but our graph just looks a little bit different because that's what the standard graph of cos theta looks like. But x values should be the same, or the theta values, I should actually say. So let's solve that equation. Cos theta equals minus 3 over 5. Let's leave that there. Cos theta equals negative 3 over 5. Now, treat it like you solve things on the Cartesian plane. You went, okay, well, first let's find our reference angle. And we merrily went on our way. We found our cos or shift cos of the positive value, 3 over 5. And we popped the calculator out and we went shift cos 3 over 5 doesn't look like it's a special angle. So 53,13, I'm just going to call that 53 for simplicity's sake. Of course, be guided by the number of decimal places you need. So 53 degrees is our reference angle. We can see from our graph that 53 is kind of over there somewhere, that point there, but that's not one of our solutions. So let's just confirm what's going on here. Well, if we go back to our beloved cos diagram, then we can see that, wait a second, cos is negative. This tells us that cos is negative. And which quadrants is cos negative in? Well, it's in the second and the third quadrants. So in other words, our 53 needs to go there and there. And that matches our diagram quite nicely because we're expecting solutions in the second and third quadrant. We're expecting them between 90 and 180 for the first solution and between 180 and 270 for the second. Now hopefully these pictures begin speaking to each other so you can really confirm that you're on the right track. So our first angle, theta equals, well it would have been 180 minus 53. So I'm going to show that this time minus 53 and that gives us i don't know trusty calculator right 180 minus 53 127 is what i'm doing in the background and our second solution would have been 180 plus so or theta equals 180 plus 53 oops that's a great 53 and that gives us you know what i'm just going to put in the calculator i always just double check but if you're feeling great, then go for it. 233 is our second solution. Degrees. Of course, we're working in degrees here. So that matches the picture nicely. We've got our two solutions, and that relates to those two dots. So here's our 127, and here's our, what is the other one? 233. There, that's working quite nicely. But we haven't got these other solutions. So if we took this point here, and we subtracted 360, well, as we went along the graph, we'd be back to where we were. So we know that we've got a solution every 360 degrees because the graph repeats itself that often. That's the period of the graph. So if we add 360 degrees times k, sometimes you'll see it written as k times 360. Of course, it's the same thing. You've got either 1, 360, 2, none, minus 1 of them, where k is an integer. 
and the same for our second solution we've got plus k times 360 or 360 times k so in this case we just want to go back by 360 and for our second one here we want to go back by 360 to get our final solution so our four solutions well 127 and 233 degrees look great if we add 360 to 127 we've gone too far and if we had 360 to 233, of course, we've gone too far. That would be if the graph carried on for a while. And if we go back by 360, well, the square one, the 233, we need to subtract 360 from that. So minus 360 would give us negative 127. And our final solution would have been the 127 minus 360 to give us negative 233. Okay, now you may have your wits about you and say, oh, but I could have seen that because the graph is symmetrical about the y-axis. So if this is plus 233, this one must have just been minus of the same thing, and this one's plus, this one's minus. Okay, perfectly valid way to do it. Take your pick. I'm just going to go for the plus 360 option each time, just for simplicity's sake. But if the other one works for you, Go for it. Okay, let's head into another example while we're here. Example three. Determine all solutions of tan theta equals three in the interval minus 360 to 360. So again, graphs drawn for you here, tan theta, and we're seeing when is it equal to three. Now, it looks like we've got a few solutions to go for here, and it looks like there's 60 something, 240 something, 250, I don't know, and we can see our four solutions. So, reference angle equals shift tan of 3. And merrily get the calculator out because there's no ways we know offhand what that is. So, shift tan of 3. And we get 71,56. I'm going to go for 72 just so that I think it's just easier to work with no decimal places. Again, be guided by the paper. So, 72 degrees. Now, 72 degrees does look like it's one of our answers, right? Well, let's just check why. Of course, we've got the graph here, but most of the time we won't have the graphs. So we'll just use our cast diagram. And we're given that tan is 3, which is positive. So which quadrants are we in? Well, we're in this part here, and all, and we're in this quadrant over here, where tan is positive. Now, let's just think through things a little bit with our graph. Before we start going, oh, theta is 72 or 180 plus, what's the period of the tan graph? The period is 180. So every time we're just adding 180 degrees or subtracting 180 degrees, as you like. So to get our four solutions, we can say that theta is 72 degrees. And we can keep adding or subtracting as many 180s as we like. So we can add 180 degrees times k, where k is an integer behind my head. So I'm just going to be in the way wherever I am, right? So our solution is theta 72 degrees, but you can keep adding 180s and you'll get to the next solution. If you keep subtracting 180s, you'll be at previous solutions. So that means that we can see our solutions within negative 360 and 360. 72 degrees was one of them. And from our diagram, we can see that the 72 related to this one here. There's the 72. So if we add 180, we'll get the next solution. So I think that, you know what, 72 plus 180 gives us 252. 252 would be our next one. And if we subtracted 180, we would be over there. So we can go 72 minus 180 degrees, and we get minus 108. What's quite nice about doing this with the graph visually is that you can see if that makes sense. Minus 108 does look like it's about there. And we can subtract another 180 to get to our last solution and go minus 180. I'm busy doing the calculator in the background, of course, 
minus 288, but you could have done that in your head. And there, the solutions. Without the graph, because the graph tells us that's the last answer, if you subtracted another 180, you'd have gone too far left. So there are four solutions. Next example, looks like it's going to be a goodie. I think it'll be a good one for the next video. So I'll see you in the next video. And make it maths. <laughs>